All right. So every once in a while, I, you know, I do some, you know, I do interviews all the time. Every once in a while, one in particular sticks out as particularly, uh, you know, motivating, I suppose. And I did one yesterday with a guy named Hal Kramer, who is, uh, who runs nursing homes in Phoenix, Arizona. And what he did yesterday was he brought in one of his, one of his clients who was suffering from dementia. You know, it was, this was a 70 year old woman who was losing the capacity to, to function independently. Uh, she could barely walk with a walker. She was forgetting everything. She had basically turned over her uh, decision-making capacity to one of her daughters, uh, was really struggling, had gained weight, was in pain, falling down, breaking her arm, things like that. So the daughter had seen my previous inter interview with Hal and brought her down to one of his nursing homes in Arizona. And the focus of their nursing home is, uh, among many things, but it is changing the diet to basically carnivorous types types of diets, you know, sometimes keto carnivore, things like that, and uh, other things that help, you know, exercise and some uh, other, you know, red light therapy and some hyperbaric oxygen, things like that. But the long story, uh, you know, made short is that she basically, uh, instead of going to the nursing home to basically die like a lot of folks do, she went down there and recovered, recovered her cognitive ability. I mean, I, I had a beautiful conversation with, with this with this gal and she's completely lucid um, back to, to working out walking independently and is going to be leaving the nursing home returning back to her home restored as a human being and this is something that you know if we look at the dementia care uh, industry in the United States uh, it is basically a warehouse you just basically take these old people and some of them are really nice warehouses you know ten twenty thousand dollars a month where they're like beautiful like beautiful hotels and they live in this, but they're just warehoused and they go on to just basically deteriorate and die. And Hal is doing something remarkable. He is actually taking sick people that have been basically sort of relegated to, you know, just waiting to die and giving them their life back. And he's using nutrition to do this. And I think this is the way forward for the future. He's getting a lot of resistance to this. A lot of people don't want, you know, they, 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 they're like, well, no, no, uh, we don't want you doing like eating meat and stuff like that. But it's crazy. It's crazy to see the resistance that he has to put up with. And so I just want to say, you know, for any of you guys out there that are willing to push against the system, and the system is definitely um, set up to not necessarily benefit people, but to benefit themselves. I mean, this is, this is why you open a company, right? You don't open a company, uh, you know, without the express uh, uh, belief that you're going to make make money from this and in some companies many companies that is the only thing that is the main goal and and uh, you know again these are people and companies I think are not very ethical um, so anyway I'm just excited to share this so if you guys I've got another YouTube channel as you guys may or may not know it's called I think it's called the Dr. Sean Baker podcast you can type in Rivero um, Rivero channel R-E-V-E-R-O and you can find the same thing so that that interview should be up within a day or two, I believe, a couple days at most. So look under that one. Um, exciting times. I, I know some of you guys, I'm, putting, I'm, I'm playing with some humorous stuff. I'll do some more of that. Some people seem to like that. Some people thought it's too cringy, but I'm just having some fun with this stuff on the shorts and some of my other stuff. So uh, one, one of the things is, you know, I made these characters. It was like a vegan and a calorie counter and a carnivore and, and a keto, keto dude. And just for the hell, I you know I was trying to like I was just trying to make myself look different, you know, different costume change. So for the keto guy, I stuffed the big pillow under my belly, you know, just you know for whatever to look different. Everybody said, like, "Why'd you make the keto guy fat?" And it was just like it was just whatever. It was just chance, you know. But but there are a lot of fat people that do keto. I mean, that's where they start. So I mean, I hope people don't take too much offense at that. And so as I do these little goofy characters, so let me know what you guys think about that stuff as well. If you like that stuff, uh, and then certainly um, you know, what are your thoughts on dementia? You know, that's, that's important. You guys have a great morning. We'll talk to you soon. There's Sasha's behind me sleeping with Maximus right next to her. So anyway, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.